you hear a lot of talk about jazz dying a slow death in popular culture? You hear that younger listeners and musicians have little interest in the music or for jazz traditions. You would never believe it if you were on the campus at Long Island University in Brookville, New York on March 24th when the LIU Post Department of Music celebrated Jazz Day at the Tillis Center for the Performing Arts. Some of Long Island's most talented young musicians and a roster of world-class guest clinicians came together for a full day of performances, workshops, and jams, capped off with a Herbie Hancock concert. Despite the debates of whether jazz is dead or dying, there are still young musicians coming up that want to play the music and are really interested in it, the tradition and the history. Students from the surrounding Long Island High School music programs were invited to participate and all got the chance to jam with the LIU Post Jazz Studies majors and the honored guests. Is anybody from else from East Hampton here that wants to play because we didn't get a chance to hear these <laughs> This Jazz Day at LIU Post was the brainchild of T.K. Blue, Director of Jazz Studies. T.K. coordinated the program with Dr. Elliot Stroke, Executive Director of the Tillis Center for the Performing Arts. That we have this Jazz Day, please acknowledge Mr. Elliot Stroker, please. T.K. is a teacher at LIU Post, but he's also a well-known musician in the world of jazz. He's the musical director for the great Randy Weston, and has played with Jimmy Scott for several years. He has his own band that he records with and tours regularly. The students got to play for the masters and then received direct feedback from the panel. Workshops gave the budding musicians first-hand exposure to coaching from the professional jazz musicians. This was a great experience for these kids, and they really enjoyed it. In the afternoon, the individual clinics were held each focused on different aspects of the music. In the saxophone the clinic, Professor day. Blue shared his knowledge across a broad range of topics, from improvising on a unique musical statement to specific techniques to develop a better tone. Following the workshops, guests were treated to performances by the Long Island Sound Vocal Jazz Group, directed by Jennifer Maselli. The LIU Post Jazz Ensemble closed out the program, sharing the spotlight with some potential future bands. That's going to be when I call you out. That's what you're going to do. You're going to use that mic and you're going to solo. Got it? Good. All right.
during a break in the concert, a special guest dropped by to say hello. It's interesting that, that you have Jazz Day here. On April 30th, which is a month from now, uh, UNESCO, United Nations Educational, Scientific, and Cultural Organization, will be celebrating its very first annual International Jazz Day. And it's going to be celebrated primarily in Paris at the UNESCO headquarters, but also in the morning in New Orleans, the Sunrise Concert at 7 o'clock in the morning. In the evening, there's going to be a concert at the UN in New York, at the General Assembly. So uh, there going to be celebrations all over the world. Uh, UNESCO is comp comprised of uh, 195 member nations, so there are 195 ambassadors from various countries that have all agreed that they really want to celebrate the, the first International Jazz Day, and it will be an annual event. So I just wanted to say, you're ahead of the game. You're a month ahead of the game. Anyway, um, the band sounds great. Band sounds great. I wish I could actually stay, stay longer, but I got a gig over there, so <laughs> I'm going to have to go. But uh, uh, I just wanted to, to uh, congratulate all of you and uh, keep on doing it, and keep on creating from your heart, and keep on giving of the music. It's not just for yourself, it's for everybody, right? Okay. One more time, one, two, three, four. I can hear the sound of violin. As the crowd turned out for the sold-out Herbie Hancock concert, they were entertained in the lobby of the theater by the LIU post-jazz combo. For these student musicians, it was the end of a perfect jazz day. Jazz Day 2012 was a great success, and LIU Post is already planning next year's Jazz Day, scheduled for Saturday, April 13th, and featuring an evening concert by internationally renowned trumpeter Chris Boti.